Now to show that the x-coordinate at q lies between say 3.5 and 3.6 what we do is we know that at q we're told it's a maximum point so we know that if we were to draw a tangent at q the gradient of that tangent would be zero and gradient is given by dy by dx or in this case f dash x so we do know that at q f dash x must equal zero so all we've got to show then if it lies between 3.5 and 3.6 if we were to take two points one to the left of q and one to the right let's imagine that this x coordinate here is 3.5 and this x coordinate here is 3.6 what we would expect to see is that at 3.5 we've got a positive gradient and at 3.6 we've got a negative gradient that tangent's not drawn that well but hopefully you get the point so to do that what I need to do is work out what f dash the gradient at 3.5 is when x is 3.5 just substitute this value x is 3.5 into this equation and if you do that what you'll find you get is 0.0329 and so on a positive value that's looking good okay that's what we expected let's just hope that we get a negative value at 3.6 so if we do f dash of 3.6 similarly just put x is 3.6 into our equation here what you find you get is minus that's good minus 0 0.0587 and so on so we've got here a sign change it's gone from plus to minus so because this curve is continuous there's no breaks in the curve then the x coordinate of q must lie between 3.5 and 3.6 well you'd need to summarize that at the end so I've written this that since there is a change in sign over the interval 3.5 to 3.6 and f dash x that's the gradient is continuous then the x coordinate q must lie between 3.5 and 3.6 okay